All right, all right. What's up, everybody? This is Philips flagship earbuds, uh, the Fidelo T1s. This is uh, pretty much uh, their premium model Philips um, uh, uh, pretty much their version of uh, premium earbud headphones. And this came out going on two years now, so this is not new. However, this retail for roughly $299. So it's up there with the, the Bose and the, the um, Bose Quiet Comforts as $349 originally. And, um, you know, the Sonys and all of the um, big flagships out there, the um, regular um, Apple AirPods, the ones that's the, the new ones and um, the ones that's running at a premium rate. So this is their version, Philip. And Philip is a great company. Let's um, not sell them short. They, they make great products as far as the light bulbs and all the other um, home products that we use on a day in, day out basis. However, this is their venture into the earbud, in the earbud community, excuse me. And um, this is the, what they brought to the table. And um, I decided to get this. This is two ninety nine retail um, on Amazon prior to Prime Day, which is going on right now, today and tomorrow. Um, I got it for $69, which is 77% off, all right? Um, it was only like 11 left on Amazon, and um, I got decided to um, purchase one because I'm also getting the Edifier, which is coming to me today. I can't wait to open that up and um, get into that one. That one's the Neo. Um, I think it's the Pro 2s. But um, anyway, sticking with the Fidelo um, T1s, and they're pretty much, um, let's talk about my first impressions with them. I had them for a day now. I bought them, um, got them, um, used it for the first time last night, and I'm using it now today. So this is two days with it. I worked out with it this morning, doing jump ropes and stuff like that, and um, really wasn't that, I'll give my honest opinion. And now I know why this product hasn't probably hasn't sold as much as it should have. And, um, but as far as the sound quality, um, pretty good. And as far as the active noise cancellation, active noise cancellation, because this is a ANC, um, pretty good with the active noise cancellation. But as far as the size, practicality, and um, using it in a workout, using it in a setting where you're moving around a lot, this is probably not the headphone for you, okay? Even though they give you, and I didn't bring the um, all the headphone settings, I mean, and all the headphone earpieces that go in, because they gave you a ton of them, um, maybe about at least eight different, maybe even more um, different sizes you could put in your ear. Um, it, it seemed like it's just a bulkier fit. Now, even my girl, when I got this and I had this on the um, kitchen table, and to give you a reference to how big it is, I'll show you a pen right here. And in comparison to the pen, this is how big the, um, the box, the, 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 the recharging case is, and it has some weight to it. It's not, and it's actually leather on the top, so it's actually very premium. And it says Irish leather, all right? It's very premium, um, but the headphones itself are pretty bulky, and I'll show you um, at the end of the video, you'll see um, how it looks in my ears and everything. Also comes in white, um, but this color right here is the color I wanted to to pretty much go with when I, um, when I purchased it. But anyway, um, it was pretty much, I had issues when I initially charged, um, connecting it to my Bluetooth on my phone. And I have an iPhone, and um, it wasn't connecting as seamlessly as most earbuds do. Um, I had to, it connected a little bit, then I had to forget it. I had to connect it again, I had to forget it. Connect it again, I had to forget it. It's a few different times. Now it's totally good. Now when I open the phone, when I open that, um, take the headphone out, put it in, it connects easily. But prior to that, it was a hard, it was hard for it to connect. It took um, at least um, a few tries for it to connect. So if anybody else had that problem, let me know. And the reason why I'm doing it, even though this is about 
going on two years. I haven't seen a real review video on this and um, me being, you know, bargain shopper sometimes, um, seeing this on sale in Amazon, I'm like, all right, let me see this is their premium. Let me see. I love Philips products. I actually have one of their Philips um, over, over the ear headphones. Um, and um, it's, um, I'm, you know, seeing how much um, off, 77% off for the sale, I wanted to know why. And it wasn't a high risk. It was more um, high reward, low risk situation for me with this um, getting it for only $69. If it was a quality headphone, then it's great. Now, sound quality was, um, I can't complain, um, my music in the bass. And the great thing about this is that it does have an um, app that you can um, customize the sound that you're getting. So I was definitely... Um, uh, definitely uh, using that to equalize um, and balance um, the sound quality. Um, as far as the sound quality, it wasn't too bad, but it's just when I was jumping rope, I had trouble, I had to stop a few times to, to make sure it stayed in the air because of the size of it. And I'll show you the size of it in my ear. Um, the size of the charging case in your pants pocket, don't have nothing else in that pocket that you want to have it in because it's pretty bulky, it's pretty big, and it's gonna look like um, it's gonna have a bulge in there. So just um, be mindful of that. But as far as their their Philips Tri at a premium um, uh, earbuds, the presentation as well. Uh, when I opened the package, when I was getting it, when I took it in the pa package, it felt premium as hell. It definitely, um, the case definitely feels premium, definitely looks premium, and definitely has a premium feel to it. I can't, I can't deny it. One thing I didn't like, like I said, was connection. One, another thing was that this case, sometimes it just, it closes while you're using it. It closes a lot sometimes. See, like, it doesn't stay up. It doesn't stay open by itself. It like, and I'm not even doing that. I'm just opening it, and it closes. It's like, see, I'm not even just does it on its own. So, um, but other than that, it does definitely feels premium. The, it has a nice little weight to it, so it definitely feels premium, which I like that. I, I have no problem with that. The bulkiness, yes, is not comfortable in your pocket. Sometimes when I was driving, I had it in my pocket, I was like, let me take it out and just put it in my um, cup holder. So it's not like, you know, I like to be comfortable when I'm driving. I don't know who else, you know. I like it. So I took it out. You know, it was kind of hitting against my keys and all this other stuff, lip, um, lip balm and all that stuff. You know, so it just just made sense to take it out of the pocket because it's kind of bulky and kind of big. It's not like how the um, all the other earbuds are now these days. A little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. But um, Philips, what I have to do to grade it, on a scale of one to five, right? With five being great, one being poor. Sound quality, um, I wanna give it 3.5. Practicality, I wanna give that like, I'm gonna be nice, two. I'm gonna give it a two. I don't wanna, I don't wanna shit on it so much because I do have I do have um, high hopes, you know, but this is not going to be, it's not going to be a first choice of many people. If you're going to be spending that type of bread, you're probably going to go with the Bose. You're probably going to go with the Sonys. You're probably going to go with the Apple. Understandably so. You're even going to go with the Samsung on a lesser scale um, and save some bucks with it. But as far as something that's going to last, I believe the durability of this might be great because of how, how heavy and how it feels. It feels like it might have great, great durability and it might last you five years. It might last you like the, the AirPods would last you. So this is something that I'm banking on. I'm, I feel like this is more so a, a low risk, high reward investment. Something that, that, that runs for over 300 that I got for $69. And it was on sale um, with that, prior to Amazon Prime. With Prime, I seen it went back up. With the Prime Day, it went back up because a lot of people bought it when it dropped low to $69. A lot of people purchased it. When I was going to purchase it, it only had 11 left in stock. When I checked back today to see the price of it, it, was, it went up to $89 with only two left in stock. 
So um, if it ever comes back in stock, I want to see what the price they're going to price it for. But I know I got a steal at $69. So for $69, I got a, a $300 premium headphone and a Philips brand, which I feel is one of the better brands, the most misunderstood brand as far as when it comes to younger people and their... Um, what they feel is more, um, you know, up to date with certain standards as far as the the, the average earbuds and what, what you should have in your ears, right? Um, I give them a chance. I definitely had the, the over-the-ear ones that they had. And to me, the sound quality is great in that one also. But at that time when I was using that one, I didn't have the, um, I didn't have the, the app that they have for the phone to help with equalizing this. So super excited as far as the sound quality. I gotta give, like I said, give that 3.5. Practicality, a two, maybe even as low as 1.5 because it needs to, you know, it's just it's just bulky, it's big. But I do believe durability, it could be um, 4.5 to five. Um, as far as, um, as far as anything else looks, it looks premium feel, it looks premium, the feel is pre definitely premium. So I would have to put those on the scales of 4.5s. Anything 4.5 and better is definitely premium, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, this is Philips flagship um, premium headphones. And it's been out for close to two years and um, nobody knows about this. This is the Fidelo T1s. Um, stay tuned, I'm gonna give you a look at it in my ears so you can understand how um, the product looks and um, and give you a reference point on on how big it's gonna be. So um, if you like what you just seen, definitely um, stay tuned still and um, like, subscribe, and tell a friend. So this is it in the air, the active noise cancellation. It's really, um, you can see it right there. Well, you can't see the active noise cancellation, but you can see it in my ears to give you a reference point of how big it is and how big it would be in your ears. Um, what I do like to say and um, tell you is that the active noise cancellation is really good. Really, um, it's it's a definitely um, a 4.5 to 5 for me in this category, so they, they're nailing it, they're hitting it in the head. This is their premium product. I can't really even hear myself right now with the active noise cancellation on. You don't even have to, um, as far as um, the, the keys on the, the keypad, haven't used it as much um, yet. Like I said, this is day two with it, um, but I will get more in depth with it. I just wanna make this video for you, for you guys because when I seen this thing went on sale, and I seen a premium headphone went on sale for this low, $69, I had an attack. And um, when I went and do my research prior to purchasing it, prior to pressing the button and saying like, hey, I'm going, going to get this item, um, there was no review videos for it. Even though it was two years old, there was no review videos out. There was some that was given, um, there was one guy, he was giving out, he was like, he had like four videos on it, but he was doing it as far as comparison videos to other headphones, other premium headphones like the Sony's and stuff like that. Um, there was no just one in-depth, and they had one, I believe, but it was in a different language. It was in Mandarin, and I, I don't speak Mandarin. I'm not that demographic, so you could just tell that I don't know Mandarin just from looking at me. But um, this is how it looks in the ear. It's a little bit big, a little bit big. You can see it right there. When you go to the gym with this, this is probably not for the gym. This is more so listening to videos, listening to movies and stuff like that. Um, haven't done a phone call on this yet. Probably will call my girl later and see hear how it sounds or whatever. But it's huge, man. It's big, but the, the solid, the solid as a rock. So it's, it's good quality as far as premium concerned. It's definitely there. I like it. Um, I'm getting the edifier. Ooh, dropped it. It's, it's good. I'm getting the edifier today, the Neo 2 um, Pro 2s. And um, can't wait to try those out and let you know about it. It's, that one's about eight months old. So, yeah. Um, as far as this one's concerned, 
The only thing I'm gonna say is the size, the practicality, look how big it is, the box, the charging case, is huge. Imagine this in your pocket, it's like the size of a wallet. You have a wallet in one pocket, then you have this in the other pocket, it's like too much. I mean, car keys, all this other stuff, your lip, lip balm, um, I, I carry a knife sometimes, you know. You know, we're in 2024, you gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta have something. Um, this is too, just too bulky, it's not practical enough. You know, it's just too big, so. That's my um, view on the Philips. I, I, I like it sound wise as far as what it brings to the table as the headphones, but just have to make it smaller. When they come out with the T2s, if they do, if they do decide to go forward with this, and this is something that stayed, didn't have a lot of news, didn't have a lot of backing behind it. Um, surprisingly so, because it's Philips. Philips is a big brand in the world, but slept on by mainstream. Um, it didn't have a lot of backing, it wasn't like marketed out there. But I'm I'm a fan. I'm 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 with it. I'm gonna try them out. If they come out with a second a part two, I'm definitely gonna try it out. I'm definitely not gonna um shit on it. After a day or two with it with this, I, I feel the sound is great. Can't wait to hear a phone call on this and then see and then let you guys know. All right. I'm gonna cut this short. We did fifteen minutes of this already. I'm your host of One Beer Podcast, Devil Davis. Talk to you later. Peace. Hey, like I promised, I wanted to show you the um, size difference in the Fidelo um, T1s and other earbuds so you can understand and get a reference point of what I was talking about when it comes to the size difference between this earbud, this flagship earbud for Philips and other um, flagships for um, other companies. So this one started off with my, my daily driver, which is now broken and out of commission for a little bit till I get a new case. This is the Bose. Right, this is the Bose Quiet Comfort, and look at the difference in size. Huge difference, vertically, horizontally, weight, definitely a lot heavier. They both feel premium because they both pretty um have a little weight to it. Um, this is out of commission right now. My case is broken, so I had to do the the primitive route and go ahead and tape it. I'm getting a new case probably from um Amazon, ninety nine dollars, um pretty soon and. Then we'll get it back and uh, up and running. But well, look at the difference in that. And we're going to take it to some other earbuds that I have in the collection. There's some JBLs right here. JBL, this one's a, I think this one's a sport one. This is one of my older ones. This is my oldest one I have in, in, um, in, in, um, in stock. And this is one of my sportier ones. A little dusty there. That I cleaned that off. Boom. Um, wasn't camera ready. Um. Here's some beats that I got also, um, smaller headphones. I'm gonna also take the headphones out too so you can see the difference in size. So look at just the difference in what you carry in your pocket to carrying these mammoth, you know, heavy, dense headphones. And then even on a lighter scale, the Samsungs. Look how small, look at the difference. You, you would forget, you could put two, two of these Samsungs in your pocket and then um, in comparison to one of these, and the, the, the weight difference is definitely um, a significant difference. And then the ones I got today, which is um, on, on the, the newest headphone I have here, which is the Edifier, and then the Neobud um, Pros 2, and look at the size difference and what you're carrying in your wallet. So these are ma massive, massive headphones. So let's take out all the headphones so you can see the difference in size too. Let's start off with the um, Fidelos. I'm just gonna take out one out of each so you can just see the, the size difference in the actual what's going in your ear. So this is Fidelo right there. All right, this is my um, earbuds. Let's look at the size difference. Bose, JBL, Beats, Samsung, and Edifiers. Let's look at the size difference in all these headphones right here. And the weight, these are heavy in the air. Let's turn to the other side, heavy in the air. Look at that. Very heavy, not lightweight. Um, in the gym, that's the, and these are the only gripes that I have with this um, in the gym 
and I, I I'm very active um in the gym. They they don't stay. They're not really staying sturdy in your ear and staying firm in your ear. So and you're feeling the weight the whole time, especially if you're doing some type of jumping exercises or anything like that, like burpees or anything of that nature. You're definitely gonna feel this moving around and feel it like might fall out a few times. I have to stop to to place it back in and make sure it's firmly snug in there. So. Um, this is the only, you know, problem. I mean, the sound quality has been good so far. Took a phone call. The phone call has been good. Did a, um, actually a, a work meeting on it for an hour, and it was totally fine. Um, it's just, you know, it could be a little bit better, um, you know, as far as um, comfortability and as far as size in the pocket carrying around. This is more so for something when you're at home. This is probably going to be my at home um, on the computer headphones and um just just you know um for 69 dollars which i got it for the day before prime it was um pretty much a steal compared to what it was 300 dollars. so this was the F fidello t1s this was just um me showing you the product and what comes with the product um definitely a ton of um, different um, shapes and sizes as far as the ear pieces. So I'm gonna mess around with that, see if there's a better size I could hold in my ear a little bit more comfortable. I'll leave you with that. Talk to you later, peace.